Uh, just an update on that ice. Uh, we're now uh, 15,700 climbing flight level 230. We've just broken out. You can see there's still a little uh, mixed, what I call mixed, on the leading edge. I gotta pop these boots and see if I can't get some of that to frost off of there. Sometimes it's between the uh, the ribs and it, it resists coming off. Having nice shiny uh, ice X boots is good. It, it really isn't breaking off, so I'd call that trace. And the top's at uh, 16 here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a report in on that. Uh, uh, Center 40 Hotel Pop Out. Uh, trace um, uh, mixed ice, just trace now. Well, 16,000, uh, tops at 16,000. Center 40 Hotel Pop Out, Roger. Thank you for the report. And you said just trace? Uh, you're welcome, and what was the last, uh, uh, what did you say last? Just want to verify, you said it was just trace icing? Affirmative, trace. Dr. American 1538, did you receive any uh, icing on the cross? Uh, negative, that we, uh, we didn't uh, notice any at all. Dr. American 1538, verify, are you on top? Uh, I'd say in and out of the tops here at 220, uh, I'd say tops are ragged between uh, 21 and 25, it looks like. Okay, Merck 1530, Roger. If you need lower, if uh, the ride gets bad at all, just let me know. Ride doesn't been too bad. Well, so it's important to report it correctly. Trace is that which the equipment can't take care of it because it doesn't come off. Because there's too little of it. That's what we got there. So now that we've broken out, that'll sublimate. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't watch Robert Fovell, uh, USC lectures uh, on video, uh, He's a meteorology professor at USC. Um, brilliant. Anyway, uh, sublimation is a process of ice going straight to a gas, not going through the liquid phase. So you won't see any run back. The reason is it's freaking minus nine out here. So um, the only thing you're going to see over time, if uh, at least until it gets dark, is um, some... Uh, Reduction in the amount of trace that's out there, so it's not interfering with flight. Four zero hotel Papa contact four center one three five point four five. Uh, Thirty five forty five four zero hotel Papa. So long. The center of Malibu four zero hotel Papa one seven thousand. 800, uh, climbing flight level 230. Malibu 40, Hotel Papa, 4 center climbing team fault 250. 250, thanks, 40, Hotel Papa. All right, so we, uh, okay, get this set in here, uh, 25, and climbing at 130 knots, good. Okay, uh, some clouds up in front of us, we knew that. There's, uh, you know, moisture everywhere today. These are not, uh, there are some cumulus over there, you can see them. And um, so we're going to have to get the radar on here and deal with that because um, what we want to do now is avoid what I call puddles. That is, if there's if it's raining at the ground and there's a towering cumulus above it, with the aircraft this cold, a wet cloud will will cause SLD to form on the aircraft and that, that we don't want. So we're going to want to be real careful with that. Even though it's not producing lightning, uh, SLD would, would, of course, be bad. So let's watch that carefully. And one way to do that is to get the radar on. And uh, wait for it to come up here, and then we'll, uh, we'll tune it up. There are three positions for the radar. There's uh, the ground position, or the parked position, I should say. We're painting the ground on the outer third. Um, let's range in here. and. Uh, Tilt down some. There we go. All right, so what I'm doing is, is painting the ground one third the way out. Hello, Center. John Hennel, 1094, with you at 340. Hennel, 1094, 4, Center, Roger. And uh, oh, what the, I'm looking uh, for. Rides in your area. Yeah, no, 1094, unfortunately, uh, light top at least up to is, about uh, puddles on the ground in front of us, either on the next rad 
Oh, we're on the radar. Uh, I'm not concerned about lightning yeah, or thunderstorms. 1561, say right condition. <laughs> Because they don't exist here today. Uh, it's smooth now. It's got 526. But I do want to be careful with this, uh, this line. What could be wet clouds here? I want to consider C1 with a little bit of an anvil top over there. It's obviously producing rain. I, but these are decayed. I, you know, I'm not seeing it on the ground. So uh, I, I think we're going to be good to go here. Let's just be real careful with it, though. Yeah, this, this looks like the worst of the weather. And it really isn't that terrible. Uh, on the radar uh, is off to the right, and it also looks like uh, that's also true with the uh, the next rad, both on the GMX 200 and on the uh, the Air 560, which I carry with me, just in case I don't have onboard stuff. So eh, I'm okay with this heading for now. Uh, you know, uh, might be a little little bumpy there. We might pick up some ice, but uh, I believe we'll be. Uh, I believe we'll be all right. So we just. Uh, so we got some stratus clouds in front here. Level three, four, as well. I can't four, four, Hard to estimate those distances. A little bit of light shots in the report so far today. But uh, let's just. Uh, we'll continue this way, and we can make a make a turn if we need to. If it gets. Uh, if it gets too bad. All right. There it is. Dick Rochford, pilot trainer, PA46. Fly safely. Train often.